going on everybody? My name is Northy and it's the first Saturday without football for what's gonna be a long time man. It's gonna be a really tough few months but I'm hopeful that today I'm gonna be able to open some packs and we're gonna get through it. That was not English. <laughs> we're gonna get through it but I've got some cards here today. I'm gonna be opening 12 but I've got a full box here so I'm gonna open that up. And I've also got another full box. So I'm ready for footy stars for a good six weeks. I'm planning to open 12 in each week. Each episode is gonna have 12. Uh, which means six weeks of footy stars. I'm very excited. I'm hopeful that uh, we've got some good stuff on the way. But nonetheless, I appreciate you tuning in to this Saturday's video. If you do find yourself enjoying what you see here today, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Everything is always very, very much appreciated. Uh, although we don't have any footy to talk about anymore, uh, there's still plenty we can go on about. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have some packs here today. So let's get into that. All right, so here you go. We've got the uh, footy stars box here. It's it looks fairly close, but I promise you when the packs are out, uh, it won't look that bad. Uh, some things that I've been pointed out. Uh, obviously, we had the live stream for North East Month of Team Coach not that long ago. Uh, you can see <laughs> my hand is actually green screened uh, through the hat. I kind of noticed it, but now it's a lot more in my mind when I see it. it <laughs> It's something that I'm going to play around with a lot and I'm going to try and fix up, but uh, we've got ourselves the box here from Cherry Collectibles. Cherry recently had a grand final sale and uh, unfortunately it means I can't actually get into the packs because I, I can't find a spot. Where can I find a spot to get in here? Ever since I lost my scissors, <laughs> it's been a tough, it's been a tough one. It really has. There we go. We got something. Sometimes a pen is all that's needed. <laughs> Just something to get into it. That's all I needed. Uh, no, no need to make it any more difficult than it already is. And uh, here we are. We've got ourselves the box that we're going to rip straight into. Get that one off. There we are. Beautiful. Open up the box and we'll see the beautiful packs. It's uh, Footy Stars is still one that I love. Uh, it's actually like been one of the rare years where like as it's gone on, I've actually enjoyed opening up Footy Stars more and more. Like, I know that Footy Stars isn't always the greatest for some people on the channel. I've just, over time, realized that more people seem to like Team Coach more than Footy Stars, and that's fine. Everyone's got preferences, and I know people will still watch both of them. Some people even prefer Footy Stars, which is completely fine. Um, I still love Footy Stars, though, and this is the first year in a good while where my love for Footy Stars has actually gone up. And I think it's purely because of the fact that there's more opportunities to pull good cards. Uh, you've got the Future Forces that are pretty cool. You've got the Numbered Thunderbolt. You've got the entire Luminous set, basically. That's really exciting. Plus, the idea of box, hit, box hits, case hits, all of that. It's great fun. Footy Stars has continued to stay exciting for me all, all throughout the year. I'm really, really happy that's the case. Uh, because it's something that I hope to keep doing for the rest of the year and into next year. Uh, it's just gonna be uh, a bit tougher, I reckon, as we go week by week and it gets a little bit more, I wouldn't say dull, but uh, it just gets a little less exciting each time. But we got John Newcomb to start. We got Brianna Conan. We got Charlie Kerno, And we're starting ourselves off with our footy heads. We've got Mr. Caleb Sarong for the Fremantle Dockers with Travis Boak, Luminous for the Port Adelaide Power with Ellie Blackburn, Nick Haynes, Dom Sheed, and Josh Rochelle. But uh, after Northeast Month of Team Coach, I felt a lot more confident just buying in bulk and then kind of letting each week go out from there because uh, I think I've gotten a lot better at controlling myself. I don't just open all the packs at once. Then it, when I do like get that urge to open more packs, uh, you know, I don't just go ahead and buy them. I know I've got some here. I can just record a video. Uh, I've gotten good at controlling myself. And whether it's because I've gotten a bit busier than I have in previous years, I'm not sure. But, you know, still enjoy opening up my packs. I've still got team coach packs that I've got to do. Uh, I've got one more set of 12 before I need to get a new box. But, uh, yeah, we're feeling good. We're feeling really good. we got Sam Walsh coming there. we got Hugh McCluggage. Monique Conti, we got Ben King, and our next insert is going to be, it is a Thunderbolt. That is the Thunderbolt. That's looking like either a Geelong or a Carlton. I'm gonna go Carlton here. What are we seeing? It is, yes, it's Carlton, it's Mitch McGovern. Okay, very interesting. We got the Mitch McGovern Thunderbolt Luminous. We've also got the Abby Derrick, we got Elise Edmonds, we got Jack Steele, and Mark Blitzarves in there as well. But I'm back on the trade grind, I'm back on selling stuff on eBay, I'm, you know, just trying to work out here, right, here and there. Since I've been on my university break, I've just had a lot more time to do those little things. Um, I've been doing a bit of, you know, obviously making YouTube videos, but getting stuff up on eBay, uh, as well as doing stuff for university, just a bit of everything really. Uh, it's felt good, it's felt very good. The number here, we've got number 440. 
of $5.99. Numbers are never really crazy. I remember not that long ago, I managed to get the Will Powell. I got his jumper number, which I didn't even realize in the moment. So that's how like strange Luminous Thunderbolts can be sometimes. Uh, you, you just don't realize, especially because some of the players in the Luminous Thunderbolt set are just unexpected. Like the fact that this is Colton, so this is the 13 through. And that's already at the 50s. It shows you there's a lot of players. There's a lot of players you can get. We got Hugh Greenwood though. Then we've got Cynthia Hamilton. We got Luke Ryan. And we are seeing ourselves. Oh, no. We got Archie Perkins. We got one more. Who we got? It is a footy heads again, Mr. Bobby Hill. I love the comment that he made on Will Ashcroft uh, getting the Norm Smith medal. It was like a, a post saying like, He's uh, one of a few players to come back from an ACL injury and uh, win a Norm Smith. And he's like, welcome to the club. Uh, because Bobby Hill and Will Ashcroft are both two notable players who have torn their ACL and then went and did big things, which is great for both of them. We've got Clary there as well, Illuminous. We've got Ella Roberts, uh, Darcy Fogarty, and Charlie Dixon in there, who has retired. That was very, very unexpected. Obviously, his form hasn't been up to standard, but it didn't feel like that long ago where he was really dominant. He was really, really good. So it's... A shame to see him go. He's had an incredible career. Uh, I wish Port had done him a little better in terms of, you know, the success of what they've done. That many prelims, but also just as many lost home finals. Uh, you'd hope that something changes for Port soon. Uh, I guess if you're a Port fan, if you're not a Port fan like me, you don't really mind. <laughs> we got ourselves like Brianne Moody. We got Jarman Impey. Speaking of previous Port players, we got Dusty, Dustin Martin. And here we go. We've got ourselves a Jack Sinclair Stats Kings. I have very much forgotten about Stats Kings. <laughs> they're a great looking card, but like they're easy to forget. And we've got Sam DeConing, Luminous card in there as well. Brittany Benici, uh, Callum Ward, Alex Neil Bullen, and Amy McDonald. And it's strange. It is very strange that I've forgotten about Stats Kings, even though they're one of the nicer looking cards. I, I thought that that would be Luminous, but Luminous still excites me. I still love the Thunderbolts. They're still great. I love them. But uh, yeah, everything else, not so much. Let's see what else have we got in here. Would be nice to see ourselves get a box hit today. That would be great. We got Tom Lynch. Got his coming. We got Mr. Tom McCartan. And we got Steph Kane, and we've got ourselves Emma Kearney. Good things come with North players. Let's see, what's the insert going to be? That was uh, not what I expected. <laughs> Just the uh, Luminous by itself. Sick. That <laughs> is like the exact opposite of what I expected behind Emma Kearney. That is heartbreaking. We've got Taylor Walker, Molly McDonald, Grant Myers. Dan Houston. Hopefully, future North Melbourne player, Dan Houston. This is being uploaded at the end of the week, on the Saturday, of course. But yeah, I'm hoping maybe North pull off a Dan Houston trade. I don't know. From everything I've seen, it's most likely he's going to Carlton. Uh, but there's a few players who look like they want to come to North, which is really exciting. Really, really exciting. I think Darling is just about a done deal. Luke Parker, I don't know at this point. Um, I said in, a, I think, last week's video, I don't think Luke will come to North. And there's still a part of me that thinks that way, but there's also that little bit of hope in me that thinks maybe after a couple, you know, losing grand finals at Sydney, he thinks maybe a switch up will help him enjoy footy a bit more. I don't know, that is really, really, like, uh, what's that? Wishful thinking, I think, is the word I'm looking for, but I think Luke will stay with the Swan still. I just think, as a North fan, I want to be hopeful. <laughs> That's really all it is. We've got Daniel Rioli. We've got Jazzy Garner, another North legend. Uh, we've got Josh Dunkley. We've got Adam Chera. And our insert for this one is going to be... It's another Thunderbolt. We are smashing out the Thunderbolts here. This is Sydney. Is it maybe Lukey Parker? Is it Luke Parker? Not quite. Oh, it's not even Sydney. It's actually Gold Coast. I saw all red and thought, no, that's got to be Sydney. No, nope, the yellow was hiding and a little bit of blue. That's Nick Holman. I've got a Nick Holman already. <laughs> so this is my second Thunderbolt Nick Holman. Okay, whatever. We've got Josh Kelly, Willie Rioli, Ben Keys, and Tom Barras in there as well. What number we see him for Nick Holman? Let's see. We got ourselves number 372 of 599. Nothing crazy there either. Two Thunderbolts already. Not going to see him anymore, it looks like, for the rest of the weeks. Uh, I think only three in every box, so it would have been nice, but it is what it is. What can you do? we got Josh Ward in here. Ooh, I, I keep accidentally revealing a little bit to myself. Ooh, I think I know what this is coming up. I'm excited. we got Josh Ward. we got Andrew McGrath. we got Shea Bolton. It is what I think it is, but I don't think it's the team that I want. Oh, that's so close! Oh, that's so close! We got ourselves an Adelaide Cruiser Premiership Predictor. That's one team off! I saw the colours and I thought maybe, 
maybe. It literally just needs to be a little bit darker of a red. It needs to be more of an orange, the Fitzroy colour. Oh, that's so tough. We are one team away from a Premiership predictor that actually hits. That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was this close, man. This close. But that's a case hit nonetheless. Very, very cool. We got ourselves John Newcomb. Got his Luminous in there. Tom Hawkins, Marcus Bontempelli, Mitch Owens, and Christian Petrarca. Ah, so close. So, so close. Who we got? What number? 92 of 315. That hurts. That really hurts. Even this close, man. That's actually unreal. That hurts me really deep inside. That would have been so nice if it was Brisbane. If it was Brisbane, I'd be over the moon with this pack opening. <laughs> oh, we get done dirty, though. That's unfortunate. We got Ashwood out. We've gotten all the North Melbourne women's cards so far. That's great. I love that. We got Harris Andrews in there, too. We got Dion Prestia. And we got Jack Bowles. We got his bronze milestone card, 100 games, as well as Michael Sunny Walters for the Frio Dockers. We got Ruby Schleiser, Todd Marshall, Tyler Hanks, and Harry Himmelberg in there as well. That is going to haunt me for a bit, man. That's my first Premiership predictor of the year as well. And that's what we get, Adelaide, Adelaide, man. Oh, you couldn't just go one team down. You couldn't go one team down, and I could get myself a booklet. That that sucks. That very much sucks. I'm gonna I'm gonna hate that for a long time because I'm not gonna get a Brisbane one. There's no way I get a Brisbane one. <laughs> we've got Kiara Bowers, we got James Wilpell, Carl Langford, we've got Chloe Malloy, and there's a bit of shine. I think I think this is a footy heads. Yep. It's Dom Sheed. That is a very I don't think I've seen this footy heads before. Look at Dom. <laughs> he is I don't know if that is uh, scared. I don't know if that's intimidating. It's intimidating to me. I'll give him that. We also have Jeremy McGovern. We got his Luminous in there too with a Emma Swanson and Hatchard and Brayden Maynard. Oh, three packs to go. It's absolutely been a smashing. It has been a great pack opening, but man, it feels a little less exciting with the fact that we pulled that Adelaide. Ah. <laughs> oh man, it's just one off, just one off man. We got LDU, got his coming in there. We've got Dylan Moore, we got Zach Merritt, we've got Lukey Jackson. We've got another Luminous Thunderbolt, my god. This is GWS, it's Isaac coming. Oh man, we are getting a lot of these hits now. I think we've still got the Ignites to go. We've still got one more, don't we? We've got Future Forces, we got both the Future Forces. Isaac Rankin, Bella Lewis, uh, Travis Boat, and Scotty P, Scott Pendlebury. Let's see what number. Oh, is that coming? Let's get a good number at least. No. <laughs> 118 to 599. Nothing great there. Three Thunderbolts and a case hit. Great pack opening. Amazing pack opening. This has been sick. Love myself some case hits. You can't go wrong, can you? I just need a good Luminous card now. Just a really good Luminous card would really, really make this box good. Let's see though. We got ourselves Lockie Neal to start this one. Emily Bates, Jesse Mortlop. We've got Dyson Heppel, and our insert is going to be... It's another footy head. It's Mr. Jamara. Jamara Hagen, the high five. And we've also got Jeremy Cameron Luminous in there too. With an Ollie Wines, we've got Jeremy McGovern and Max King. Okay, one more pack to go. It has been an absolutely amazing pack opening. It just maybe a little bit depressing in some ways. I, I can't complain, man. I can't complain. I'm getting to open up packs at this time of the year. I'm a happy man. I'm a very, very happy man. Let's see. What are we going to finish off today's video on? Would be nice to have something good. Let's see. Alex Pierce. We've got Tara Bohanna. We've got Nick Blakey. And it's looking like a milestone. It's Mr. Max Gorn. That's an awesome hit. That's a great card. Max Gorn, 200 milestone games. And Nick Blakey. Again, the Luminous in there as well. Very, very nice way to finish it off. With a Bailey Fritch, Mitch Duncan, Team English, and Nick Dacos to send us home for today. And that is all I've got for today. Uh, great video overall. We'll have a look at this on the camera because it is so close to the winner. I am so, so upset that this isn't one team away. My head keeps getting in the way. Hopefully that works out. Come on, just focus once. That's about as close as I'm going to get. Look at that. It's a beautiful design card. Definitely one of their better Premiership predictor designs, but uh, one color off, man. Just one color off. 
Very, very good hit though. I love myself some case hits. So thank you all so much for tuning in. If you guys did enjoy what you saw here today, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel again if you are new. Everything is always very much appreciated. Again, got plenty more packs, not only in this box, but in another box to come. So plenty of weeks set up for, and I'm really excited to see what else we can do. So thank you all so, so much for tuning into this one. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.